This rosé, Ed already bought 10 cases, probably the best we've ever had. We've, we're, you know, rosé still, California buyers still have a hard, East Coast, oh, yeah. love it. Well, they're, they're, no, there's a lot of rosé being sold now. I mean, you, I mean, I was shocked to go into several stores and see banks of rosé on floor stacks. Yeah, I saw the Whole Foods. You know, this is the prettiest colored one I've seen. Uh, he was in the, uh, the winemaker was in the warehouse, I mean in the warehouse. He was here in the studio, I'll post that video as well. Very interesting guy. And here's the disappointing thing. When we were in Saint-Tropez, because this is very close to Saint-Tropez, 45 minutes, we were going to go and have a tasting with him last time, and I couldn't go because getting in and out of Saint-Tropez is like, it's brutal. And I'm like, I can't drive after tasting and drive this. You thing. mean it's like Westwood. It's brutal. <laughs> anyway, great guy. He was here. We interviewed him. I'll post that up. And this is uh, just, I love, I'm really enjoying rosés now because you know what the problem is? Everybody thought they were white Zinfandels. Thanks to Sutter Home for 20 years, 30 years, mm -hmm. you see it pink, you think it's white Zinfandel. That's true, but it's not. It definitely is not white Zinfandel. And I, this is probably the best rosé I've ever had. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was just totally blown away. And everybody that tasted it went nuts. They just went absolutely crazy. It's got depth. It's got dryness. It's got color. It's got everything. It's, um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, and they take rosés very seriously in France and Italy, too, by the way. There's some great rosés coming out of Italy that we don't think of that much as, uh, as rosé country, but they're certainly very popular there, too. Um, whereas this part of France in the Provence and in Tavel, in, um, uh, particularly in, uh, in, uh, in the Rhone, I think some of the greatest rosés in the world. Okay, so now Ed says, I'm going to get in trouble because I use this as a red, but, you know, it's dry. Well, I, I understand. And so if it was sweet and, you know, no, no, cloying know. maybe, but it's but not. But it's, it's, a... it's also $24.99 on the shelf and reorder is $16.99. And are you listening? Mm -hmm. I'm giving this 100 points. This is, my, this is 100 point wine. Holy God. Because this is the best rosé I've ever tasted. And I love rosés. I drink a lot of rosé. Holy Especially God. in the summertime. In spite of the hell summertime that we've been having, <laughs> well, I, I can't match that hundred, you know, because I mean I like rosés, but yeah. I'll give it a ninety-eight. It's really funny because I served this to some friends of mine. Some friends of mine came over to watch the All Star Game, and th th three guys, and all three of them, and all three of them brought rosés. Okay, and a red, you know, but instead of a white, it was a rosé. No, seriously, what? back the trolley up. You watch, you drank rosé watching the All Star Game. Well, for the first what the course, hell kind of, what kind of? What kind of American baseball ca character is that? Okay, next time we'll drink Charles Shaw. I don't know. What do you want me to do? <laughs> what about Miller of Highlight? No, 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 no. Anyway, uh, everybody went totally nuts over that rosé. You had sous vide peanuts? Oh, it's your wife. I can't, I can't talk to her. Right now. <laughs> Jesus.